This is a four row repeat worked on a multiple of four plus three. I have 19 stitches for my sample here. You'll need to know how to knit, purl, make yarn overs, purl two together, and knit two together. Here we have the front of the work, and this is the side that we'll be starting on with row one. And then real quick, here is what the back looks like. For row one, you'll start by purling the first stitch, and then we're going to make a right twist. So to do that, you're going to knit two together, you're going to leave the stitches on the left needle and then you're just going to knit into that first stitch again and then drop the stitches from your left needle and then you'll begin the pattern repeat and it's purl two and then again make the right twist you can knit two together, leave them on the left needle, knit that first stitch again, and then drop from the left needle, purl two. Now here's a different way that you can make that right twist. Instead of knitting two together, you can just ignore that first stitch for now and knit into the second stitch and then knit the first stitch and then drop them from the left needle and purl two and then again you can do the right twist by skipping your first stitch here knit into the second stitch and then knit the first stitch and drop them from the left needle so whichever way you prefer to do it and then you purl two and you're going to end your last repeat with your right twist and I think that I actually prefer the knit two together and then knit the first stitch and for row two you'll start by knitting the first stitch and then begin your repeat let's yarn over Purl two together, knit two, yarn over, purl two together, and knit two. Yarn over, purl two together and knit two. And then your last repeat ends with a yarn over. Purl two together. For row three, we we'll start by knitting the first stitch. And then your repeat is purl two, and then make a right twist. So I'm going to knit two together, leave them on the left needle, and then just knit that first stitch again before dropping them from the left needle. So the repeat is purl two, and then make the right twist. And 
Now if you don't like the first way that I showed you to make the right twist, you can do it this way. You can just knit into the second stitch and then knit the first stitch. And your last repeat for row three ends with purl two. And for row four, you start by knitting three. Then your repeat for row four is yarn over, purl two together knit two. And then you will just repeat those four rows for the pattern. So again, that's the front, and then that's the back. And depending on what you're using the stitch for, you'd probably want to add at least one stitch on each side for a selvage because the, end, uh, the sides are pretty sloppy. And this left side in particular is really, really bad. You might be able to block it out, but I think it would be better to have at least one or two stitches to make a neat edge. So that's it.